Patrick Kuchar 194, David Finch, and Redrawing Virgil. So this was one of those weeks where um, having to make this video at the end of the week forced me towards the end of the week to actually do something so I had something to show. That is ultimately the reason I do the Petra Kucha in, in the first place. Um, I've been lucky enough to have YouTube forward me David Finch's YouTube channel. He's a professional comic book artist of several decades. I think he started in the 90s. Uh, his penciling is phenomenal and literally by watching what he's he's putting on youtube i'm leveling up the first one i saw was on shadowing anatomy he did basic shapes and then he did a, an actual muscular form and then he'd put up a i saw the next one was like an hour and a half video of him drawing a crazy clown face and i'm like i can't believe it's just him with a mechanical pencil on a piece of what looks to be pretty cheap paper um and already 10 minutes in, it's it's got more artistic merit than most of the things I draw. And he's just working from imagination. He's done this for so many years. Uh, he can render to a very high level just, just from, like, I don't want to say muscle memory, but that's effectively what it is. It's practice. Uh, it's, it's, it's repetition. So he's an hour in, and then he says, okay, now I'm going to start rendering. Because uh, apparently this isn't rendered. Um, but what he's talking about is a very specific... Um, shaping of the forms where you use a very specific type of, of mark making uh, it's very obvious when you're looking at uh, inked artwork it's effectively it's like cross hatching with a certain line weight that just makes um, shapes seem more curved uh, so here's david finch here's his crazy clown um, and just listening to him talk about what he's thinking as he's doing it it's all very very useful and ultimately what he's doing is where I'd like to end up with that kind of output and that kind of mentality. I stumbled across a random tutorial from this guy. I don't know who he is. I don't even know what language he's speaking. It's from Asia, but it doesn't seem like it's Chinese or Japanese. It might be Korean. It might be something else. Um, he knows an awful lot about how to draw hands. Uh, yeah, I do think he does have a, a teaching course out of this because he talks about drawing the, the hand, but the idea is that the the box the the palm is several different planes at several different angles you don't just draw one box and then stick tubes on the end it's uh it, i was taken aback by how sophisticated it is maybe one day i'll put what he said into practice uh, so as i found i wanted to do something this week i was going through old art and I, for inktober i drew a picture of virgil um scribbled out something after a, a hard day's work because uh, i really liked the the image that I found because um, um, when Virgil in Devil May Cry 5 shows up he you know he's introduced fucking spoiler alert right um, and he does this Clint squint Clint Eastwood squint um, at the camera I just thought damn that's 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 him being as cool as as Devil May Cry thinks it is <laughs> that's called a self-fulfilling prophecy surely right uh, so I want to render that um, and having seen David Finch draw there's this concentration in me to do this and try and figure out how to do it um and so i'm i'm doing what i always do I'm, I'm mapping out badly some kind of thing to to on my canvas and then figuring out how i i think for me you pick a part of the anatomy for me it was this eye and then you scale everything to it so how far is the ear from this eye making the assumption that the eye is rendered at least accurately in proportion so then i figure out how far the other eye is from this eye and how far the hairline is from that eye by a measurement of that that eye so i'm kind of penciling all of this in um i'm i'm cross hatching i'm just trying to denote forms um you know you know i'm not especially keen on rendering and when i say rendering i, I mean airbrushing or using cross hatching or anything um to to denote for to, to um show what form looks like uh, once i've finished with the moderate modestly easy part of his face i move on to his hair his ear placement and where his jawline is are very awkward because he doesn't have a line connecting his ear to his lower chin um, this is kind of where i finished my first drawing session and then i decided uh, let's take what we've got and let's see if we can compare it directly to the image uh, by importing the image and then 
seeing if it actually lines up i did this with the robocop image um what i found is mostly the facial features by anchoring the image the actual image to my eye his eye to my eye uh, i found the facial features were mostly correct but the issues were that the hair was a little bit too far away from everything else um his jaw and his neckline i just confused uh, but one thing i really should acknowledge is that on the left hand side of the page it's mostly right it you know the nose is a little bit off and the mouth's a little bit low um, but i have a tendency to overlook the bits i get right it's mostly to scale um and victories should be celebrated lest one dwell on the defeat too much so i made some alterations brought the ear in uh, reshaped the hair did a little bit of work on the nose um it's difficult to know if I got his expression. It's not actually an easy picture to render because it's it's subtle in ways that I've never seen before. And then I was I was messing around with just airbrushing it a little bit, trying to do more work with the values. But I I'm not I wasn't really committed to it. I was just seeing if I could do better justice to the lighting. But mm, airbrushing is something I need to, to do with a very particular focus because value work isn't something I do particularly well um, let's have a quote because there's enough sad clowns in the world uh, only put off until tomorrow what you are willing to die having left undone this is me referencing procrastination um, that's what I do all week uh, all the bloody time uh, and the problem is I completely agree with Picasso on this uh, but, but I don't mind uh, dying in my sleep and leaving all my smiley shows undone. I say that, but as I get older, I become less and less comfortable with that idea. I still very much think I've always got infinite tomorrows to get on with what I need to do. This is not the case. And I have a sneaking suspicion by the time I hit 40, I'm going to be um, prolific out of a fear of, of not doing anything rather than the need to do something. But let's let's try and not wait six years to get shit done. But you know how it is. Uh, but that brings us to the end of Pe Pechicucha 194, and I will see you next time.